Using this one weird trick that other bass teachers don't want you to know, I can teach you how to play quarter note triplets in just one minute. It's math time. The same way that two eighth notes equals one quarter note, three eighth note triplets equals one quarter note. Sometimes metronomes allow you to set the subdivision to triplet, which can be very useful when you're practicing this stuff. So how do you perform a quarter note triplet? Well, if you think about it, two eighth notes equals one quarter note, so two eighth note triplets equals one quarter note triplet. And that's the best way of understanding quarter note triplets is thinking in groups of two eighth note triplets. You can expand this concept a little bit. The same way that four eighth notes equals one half note, four eighth note triplets equals one half note triplet. This can be very useful for understanding half note triplets just because a lot of the time when people try and perform them, they end up sounding like this rhythm. And if you're thinking in groups of four eighth note triplets, it will sound a lot more accurate. A helpful way of counting this is to simply count out loud the total number of eighth note triplets that you're playing within the cycle. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. So where do we go from here? Well, eight eighth notes take the same amount of time as one whole note, so eight eighth note triplets take the same amount of time as one whole note triplet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sixteen eighth note triplets take the same amount of time as one double whole note triplet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One. And finally, if we're taking this to an extreme, 32 eighth note triplets take the same amount of time as one quad quad quadruple whole note triplet. Quadruple whole note triplet. Quadruple whole note triplet. So ladies and gentlemen, I give you the quadruple whole note triplet groove. 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 So obviously this isn't very practical. However, you can see that the math did check out. If you take a look at the screenshot of the recording I just did, you can see three evenly spaced notes within the same span of eight measures. When we're practicing this stuff, we're practicing developing internal rhythm by counting, which as I've said in my other videos is probably the best way of developing strong internal rhythm. So even if there's no practical value of playing a quadruple whole note triplet, it still will really develop your internal musicianship and your internal rhythm. This has been Adam Neely's Bass Lessons. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I know you guys have been requesting topics for lessons and I'll get to them, I swear. I just wanted to really organize my thoughts with some of them. Um, and until next time, bass. Ba 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 ba